What is going on, everybody? Welcome back. If you're new, welcome aboard. We got some more Satisfactory. We are live on Twitch. What up, Twitch? What up, chat? And we are about to go build a massive power plant. All right, we have all of this material. And we're about to do what it do. About to do what it do, man. So, in the last episode, right, we got the very beginnings of a iron smeltery. And it really, it got me thinking, I'm like, you know, if we're going to start even... If we're even going to outline, you know, what we're going to end up doing long term, we're going to want to get the power going first. Just so we know what we're working with. Are oh, you guys hearing that? That sounds menacing. That's fine. I'm sure it's fine. We probably could have uh, done grenades first, because now we are, like, halfway to actually having them, but... Oh, what am I doing? What am I doing using walkways like an absolute scrub? Are you kidding me? We got parachutes and whatnot? Dude. Beauty. Beauty. All right. Parachute for the win. Indeed. Indeed. All right, so that's a poop. That's a poop cloud, I believe. Not going to want that. All right, obviously you are giving us too much, but that's okay. All right. So you're taking 15 coal per minute. You should be giving us 240, right? All right, so ready for this quick math? Not really. Not really quick math, but this is what we're going to do. All right, so we got three coal plants at 240. And then we should have one that's at, what, 120? Right? Because one's a normal node. Which, we can do something like this. Nope, not you. We can do that. Oh, or maybe scan for the right thing. That might help. Coal. Alright, so you're going to have your peer. Yep, that's the normal one. And two more peers. And so the normal, we're only looking at 120. Um, you guys hear that? What is that? What is that sound, dude? What? What is happening, dude? You hear that? Where are you? What are you? Dude, what the? What? <laughs> Hello? Hello? You hear it? Good. At least I'm not crazy. Doesn't make it that much better, though. I'll be honest. <sighs> okay. Spider attacking something? Time out. You're telling me... Oh, there they are. Hmm. All right, whatever. That's why we're safe up in the air. You know what I mean? Jeez. All right. Back to it, man. We got 360 total coal that should be coming out right now. Without overclocking and etc. Which I'm sure we, we will do at some point. Alright. You need 15 per minute. Alright. So that's quick and totally easy math. What? 26? No. 24. 22. 22. Push N. You can use that calculator. God, I always forget about the calculator. <laughs> Good shout. Hold on. No, we want we want this. Maybe or no? Did I not do the right? Ah, I didn't do the right thing. All right, yeah, 24. I was close. Close enough. 22, 26. Split the difference, right? All right. Wrong slash. Yeah. I'm a I'm a big I'm a big backslash and forward slash kind of guy. You know. Okay, so 24. So that means that to do, you take 45 per little guy here. So we're going to have 45 times 24. We're going to need 10,080 cubic meters. That's how they do it, right? It's interesting. Cubic meters of water. And then each of these are what, 120? No? 1080? Oh, 
what's what's messed up is I literally wrote down 1080. <laughs> All right, 1080. And then you just to double check are making oh, production. Yep, you are making 120. You are making 120. All right. So then, if we hit N, and we go 1080, divided by 120, that's 9 even. That's interesting. And then each of these, all right, almost walked off the edge. That's fine. Each of these. So when do we get pipeline marks two, man? Goody, math class. You're welcome. The math class, too, is literally just me pressing N. That's the best part. All right, so we're going to need nine extractors. 120. So honestly, let's just make it easy and bring it up in two pipes. Or, or put two on one pipe. Tier two pipes is in tier six. How close are we to that? Blueprints? No. I know you can you can check, can't you? Somewhere. Uh, not there. It doesn't matter. I really don't care. Nowhere near. 10-4. <laughs> Peabody, welcome back, dude. Welcome, welcome. Good to see you. Three water extractors for every eight full gens. Yes. I believe that is correct. That is entirely correct. But yeah, so this is going to have 300. So yeah, like I said, to make it easy, we're just going to slap... Uh, we're going to put two of them on one and then pump it up here. That'd be good enough. Yeah, two water extractors per pipe. Do we even have enough of these? Like, material for this? Let's, uh, let's take a step over here real quick. Had my knee sore to give you a haircut. Yo, hope you're, hope you're looking great, though. You're late, trust me. I was, too. There was some absolute hooliganery going on in the beginning of this stream. Just shameful. Absolute shameful. All on my part, but... <laughs> All right, let's throw some, let's see, one, two, three, four. And then honestly, let's do something like so. Oh, you know what? Yeah, 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 yeah. This is what we're going to do. Um, Because, yeah, we need nine. Which, if we wanted to get fancy... Looking 40 years younger. Let's go. If we wanted to get fancy. All right. Hold controls and the outputs will line up. Yeah. I see. I, I trust that and I know that. But I'm, I'm so. Mind flooded as to where these are going. You know what I mean? Because now I'm even... I'm thinking on the fly. As you can see, I'm literally just chilling with a pen. Just in case, you know? But so, my thought... Well, I guess, first and foremost, this massive block of concrete can probably go, huh? Do something like this. And then I, I really want to try and put one... Ah, oh, dang. Alright. You need to space them out more? Yeah, you're probably right. You're probably right. And you know what? How I just thought about doing this, too? Hmm. Which I think might be cool. Alright. So, obviously, we're going to still do the two per pipe, bringing it up. So, if that's the case, we can, like... Kind of hard to tell where the water ends right there, huh? 
We can do something like this. And then, like, these two are going to be grouped together to bring up the water. Something like so. The resource is not deep enough. Understood. All right, let's try and, like, utilize this the best we can, though. Something like that, and we'll put it in the middle. Those two will combine into one and then get pumped up. We'll do the same, like, right about here. Another object's clearance. Which object would that be? All right. And then we're going to take these back. Big-ass water source over one of these cliffs. I mean, this is pretty big, though. All things considered. I mean, if, if we don't need this water for anything else, we're, we're golden. Right? Because we only need nine. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, we'll be all right. We'll be all right. Can we... I think we'll be able to fit them all. Yeah, if we if we're just smart with it. So that's a big ask, I know. But we're going to do our best. Do something like this. Rotate it. Rotato. Put it right about... All right. This one is kind of causing an issue. So I wonder if we can actually adjust that just slightly. Are we going to be looking at this much? Absolutely not. At least I would hope not. The goal is to set it and forget it, right? Uh, do something like this. Obelisks would be helpful here. Oh, nice. Aha! What are you using the water for? Coal? Yep. We are, we are setting up the next gen. The next gen. Wait, would the Nobelisks knock these guys down too? I, I would imagine they have to, right? Are those the funky trees you're talking about? And no, I did not get that hard drive yet. There are monsters and I am, I'm afraid. Not really. I just haven't gotten to it yet. But yeah, this is going to be our next gen power supply. Let's do something like so. And I mean, like I say, if, if we can fit. Oh, you know what, though? We can fit. If we can fit nine, we're good for now. But then once we start overclocking, we might we might have to figure something else out or or maybe just relay out all these water extractors and whatnot. I think that's good enough just to toss a. We're really just going to run it into a junction and then pipe it straight up. So I think that's enough. I hope anyway. I guess we could figure it out by doing this. And then, yep, put that straight up like so. Yeah, dude. Look at that. And then we will pipe that just straight up. Perfect. I think this is going to work out. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're not going to combine all of them to each other. Each pipe can only keep 300, right? Until we get the better pipes. Therefore, we're going to have to bring them up separate anyway. Right? At least that's the thought. I think... I don't think I got the floor holes for... Yo, first off. Hello. Hello, beautiful. Slug. Dude, never seen a slug I didn't like. I'll tell you that right now. Um, I don't know if... I don't think we got the, like, the portholes for the water. But I do know we got them for the conveyors. And I, I think that's probably more important anyway. Dude, I, I just... I can't see. I can't see, brother. All right. More excited about a blue slug than a hard drive. Yes, sir. Not only, not only is it a blue slug, it is my favorite blue slug. All right, where are we at with these? All right, we got, like I said, six. Oh, dude, we got, we got plenty of room. Because this should give us eight, right? 
And then we really, we can just leave this one how it's going for now. And then we should be good. Let's remove this too. If we don't need it, we might as well remove it. Just because we're kind of getting a little... Oh, something like so. Getting a little spread out here. Alright, so. This is the move. This guy's set up. Um, we are still gonna need... Yeah, we're still gonna need a Mark II at least. We might as well make it a Mark III. I think we have the... I think we have the ability. So the portholes with the liquid. Is it... So it's not supposed to hinder flow, but they do. At least right now. It's interesting. Hmm, okay, and then 240 coming in. Honestly, how we're going to set this up is... I, it goes without saying, it's going to be a massive manifold. Let's get that straight first and foremost. Uh, but let's think about where all this water is going to come up first. Need a Mark III for all but the normal one, right? But then the Mark, the Mark, uh, the normal one, we're going to need like a Mark two right it's 120 mark one's only 60 something like that all right straight up please thank you oh can i noodle nice can i just go vertical horizontal to vertical how does that work oh it's either horizontal or vertical i suppose interesting Dude, that's it right there, man. That's something. And then we'll obviously, we need two pumps, as we are aware. Which I'm really curious. Does anybody know if you are bringing it up at an angle, if the game... Because technically, it needs the same amount of head, this one, at an angle as this one, if they're at the same elevation down here and they're ending up at the same elevation. Does anyone know if that's actually coded in the game or if the game thinks it's going higher because it's traveling further along this pipe? Angle does not matter. Perfect. I was curious about that. I was curious about that. Because obviously it shouldn't. That just seems like a very minute detail. It might be a little bit tough. It's all about the Z level. That makes sense. All right, we're just gonna go ahead and bring it all the way up and then we'll figure out what to do with it from here. Dude, I'm not that upset about that. <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, that's, that's not too bad. We might even need to make this a double layer. Hmm. You would use a hole before you would let it clip. That may affect flow. You want to test it out? Let's test it out. Oh, nope, not you. Something like this. Clipping won't affect flow. Well, we will keep an eye on it. How's that? I think that might make sense. Dude, bringing it right on up. Just because you would think clipping wouldn't because... Because it's yellow, it knows that it's there's a visual effect. You know? Like, like visually, they know it's going to clip. But because the game knows that, it kind of makes me think that the actual, f you know, physics of the water wouldn't be affected. But obviously could be wrong. Just spitballing. Dude, this is going to work, man. If we don't run out of stuff. Okay, so... More than likely, we're gonna have to throw some more over this way. So this will come that way. For now. So let's see. We got two coming up here. 
two, four, six, eight. And there's our nine. Let's go. Just a reminder that water flows best down or directly sideways. Trying to feed gens from the bottom. So bring your water up to the highest point and then have it filled below at the same level. That's the move. The whole, the goal is to keep this level kind of where the water is getting distributed from. So let's see, to do that, and let's see here. All right, now this is where it gets annoying, all right? And I don't, I don't think our, well, our friend the calculator might help, all right? So you got 120 coming from this pole. That minus 45, you're gonna have 30 left over, which is fine. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna manifold you into three of you. All right, so this is also real quick, just so we don't stop uh, the power generation. We are definitely gonna need, oh, full. Let's do something like so. Oh, jumping. Just so we can kind of be out of the way if we're going to put the line right there. We're going to redo all of these, the uh, the conveyor belts. But just to get it around and then hopefully make some of these real quick. Run a few storage tanks. And have it gravity fed. Oh. That would make sense. God, you are so fast, man. That's so sick. All right. Obviously, you got to turn you around. And apparently, this coal is uh, structurally integral to the entire platform. Was unaware. All right, we're going to do something like so. God, dude, you're so fast. Make sure we're good. Which we should be. I was holding control and whatnot. There you go. I do have storage tanks. I just have not used them yet. Also, I kind of want to kind of want to move this over, you know? Hmm. All right. But so this guy should be able to feed this guy no problem and then should just give a little bit to you, which we can then top off with this pipe. I think that should be fine. So let's go ahead and try that. Make sure it's coming out horizontal. Something like so. And something like so. And then, so obviously you're not going to get enough. But that's okay. And we should be able to... We should be able to do something like this. Ew. Hold on. It might make more sense to do something. Do this first. So I know it's slightly different, but I'm still going to try and do the same idea as a manifold, right? So obviously this will backflow a little bit, but it should it should even out, right? It should even out and not actually take up much of this water coming in because all this should be full. That should be full and then the leftover should be coming into here. And that should still be fine. You build pipe junctions on the floor like you build splitters, then connect the pipes. Ooh, that makes sense. I think that's the move. So obviously, If you make that a vertical pipe that goes up and over, gravity will keep it from backflowing. Fair. How are we... How confident are we that we got the head to let that happen? Oh, but you're saying... Oh, wait a minute. You're saying, like, this guy. Hmm. Right? Or something like that? Or this guy, rather. Ooh, wait a minute. I like that. 
a little bit of logic to it something like this or honestly can you can you just do something like that and I mean that's technically enough to make it come out and then not backflow something like that I like that so in theory it should not go back I like that so then all right let's see where we're at okay we got another 120 right there and then our so we got 30 plus 120 so we have 150 and then we're losing what are you you're taking 45 right taking 45 all right easy enough Oh man, thank you. Good call out. You heard me tap the mic. No good. I think, you know what it was? It's cause I, I went to, dude, it's this, it's this, it's this calculator, man. <laughs> Remember before I started and stopped the audio? I love my number, my number keypad, but I love it so much. I charted a bunch of my hotkeys to it. So muting my mic is the minus on the number pad. <laughs> Oops. Calculator is as bad as the to-do list. It's the plus and the minus. It's actually the... The divide is my start and stop record. And then the minus is the... Uh, is the muting and unmuting. Well, hey. Thanks. Good shout. Man, good thing I'm live, huh? That would have been hilarious. Absolute silence for the next hour. All right. Yes, the the backslash or yeah, that'd be or is that forward slash? It doesn't matter. Whatever the divide key on the number pad is is currently my um start and stop video which that I remember so whenever I divide I do the other one but this is a new kerfuffle call it stream the sims for four hours with no audio Ooh, I would call that as not ideal I would call that not ideal for sure all right so you can have we established, what, two more, and then you're going to have a leftover, which you can then feed with this guy. So, two going, like, right here should be fine. Um. Not ideal. I mean, just move back. Just, like, stop being lame, dude. Just, just work real quick. All right, that'll work. Something like so. All right, and then uh, you know what? How close are we to the edge? Can you go more? I would not want you to go more. Tell you the truth. Remember, hit H if it's too steep. Understood. No, that's that's such a good hack, man. Not like a literal hack, but you know what I mean. All right, so you should be fine to fill these guys, which is good. I like that. And then from here, you manifold <laughs> into you. Something like that. And then you should have 15 left over. All right, it might get really annoying. Oh wait, hold on. Let's do uh, what we did over here. I like that. I forget though. It was with the the leftover, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever was left over, that's what we tilted. So this guy, 
I think. Pretty sure. Something like so. Nice. Thank you. Thank you. Something like so. And then this will rotate and feed this way. All right. What's going to be really ugly and annoying is going to be putting in the conveyor belts. <laughs> Not looking forward to that, man. Let's just pretend like we don't have to yet. All right, so now you are going to whoop and then not back fill, back flow, what have you. But you do have 15 left. Right? Something like that. Here, let's do this. Dude, remember when I couldn't zoop? I think about that all the time, man. <laughs> all the time. Use conveyor lifts and belt the coal over the pipes. Right, no, that's... Oh, wait, no, I like that. Just have them running, like, right here. Ooh, I like that, I like that. Or a logistics floor, yeah. I was thinking about maybe a logistics floor, but then you're still gonna have to, like, pipe it up through here. I kind of like the idea of running it over it. Pumping in. Hmm. We'll figure it out. We're not there yet, so... We'll be A-OK. -okay. Alright, so we have 15 left. Alright, let's try not to mute my microphone. That would be unfortunate. The plus is fine. So we're gonna we're gonna hit pluses all day of the week. Then our minus we gotta change. A oh, whole beauty. Alright, so we got one more on this. Oh dude. Look at that. So we can put down three more with just this, and then we're all tapped out, and it's perfect. And then we got three more. Wait, that's with that's with this remaining 15, and then this guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Lifts can be attached to the coal gen either way. Yeah. I'm not super worried. Well, however we end up doing it, it'll get its coal, you know? Also, I do want to change this. Which is very sad. I think it has to happen. Hello? Right there. So we can bring it out this way. And then we will run this directly into this one. Oh, wrong button. Hold on now. Hold on now. Let's hit H, then let's take a step back, take a look. Yeah, we are going to have nowhere near the amount of rotors needed to do this. <laughs> Not on us, anyway. Oh, man, that's wonderful. It's enough, I think, to... Uh... You were telling your kid about my zooping earlier? My zooping issues? Dude, that's some... Nudge exceeds max distance? I disagree with that. That's some personal detail, man. Trust has been lost. Trust has been lost, dude. What would have helped you know you had enough rotors? Now, if, if anybody says, if anyone says, Oh, hold on. Wait, we're going to want to turn this, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on, hold on. My sass can wait. Production is now, dude. All right. She said it before I could say it. If anyone says the to-do list, 24-hour ban permanent. You're lucky uh, I have no mods. <laughs> that's, that's your only solace. Your only solace, dude. He's going to ban you. Yeah. Yeah. She crossed me, dude. She crossed me. All right, so. Yeah, because we're going to stack them like here. One, two, three. And then you will feed into you, into you, and into you. And you're going to tie into this guy. Yeah, no, you finished it before I said the sentence. Therefore, I, I have no grounds to ban you. You know what I mean? Really good, uh, really good timing on that. All right, we'll do something like this. Obviously, the 
to-do list would have helped know that we needed more rotors then you need to the you know the question is just begging to be asked would I then have actually gotten more rotors before doing this endeavor and I would say the answer is probably no but you never know also I think This is just my thought, okay? And I don't know, maybe the, maybe the game's set up differently. But on paper, this makes sense as to why it won't backflow. And I guess in theory, if it's being used up fully on this side of the, like on this low point, instead of the high point, call it, it should technically quote unquote run downhill and only fill these guys. And then I guess any excess would go up. I was just thinking if it had any more, like, head to it, if it had the ability, it would go that way. But that's only if there would be an excess, right? That's what I think. I think I'm overthinking it. All I know is this says we got a full water in this pipe, and that makes me very excited. All right. So let's go ahead and close this up. Right. Perfect. Go ahead and close this up, and now... We should be good. Did we... Did I do this right? Looking good? Dude, let's go. Let's go. Alright, so... Right now, we only have this one working. Which is what? 240? Right? 240, and how much do each of these take? It's... Wait, it's 15, right? Yeah. Because you can only see the one that has it in it. All right, so 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 times 15, that's what, 120? Get out of here. No way is that 120. 8 times 15 is 120. But we have 240 coming out? Wait, that doesn't make any sense. It is. Dude, nice. Because we... Does that make sense? Okay, no, it does. Because it's only... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... 8 for each pure node on a Mark 1. I see. Wait, dude, time out. We don't have nearly enough water, do we? 240's coming up here. 240's coming up here. Because if... if if 240 is coming out of this node right now, we have another 120. Dude, where what? Where did we go wrong? So, not to use all that coal. God dang it. Well, not obviously not the 240 that we have right now. But so... Yeah, total, we were looking at... Oh, I'm an absolute idiot, dude. I am an absolute idiot. You want to know why? So this was my thought. I don't think... I don't think I gave you that right there. And then take 840... Divide that by 15. Yeah, that's not how that works. Hold on. Fair enough. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. Currently, we are about to make nine. Or 24, rather. We can make 56. All right. All right. So about that, okay? So that's unfortunate. Peaceful Jeff. Yo, welcome aboard, man. Welcome aboard. Thank you for the follow. Appreciate that. Appreciate that a ton, man. Directly after I made one of the marge one of the largest mess ups. That's not true. There's been so many more, but very large mess up, dude. That's unfortunate because we are set up to make what? Yeah. <laughs> we got 9 things. Loving the YouTube content? Glad you caught us? Dude, I'm glad you caught us too, man. Welcome aboard. 
Welcome, welcome. So yeah, we can make the 24, and that's, yeah, the pure and the normal. Agreed. And then the rest over to the bigger water source. All right, that makes a lot of sense, okay? Because water is more fickle. But that, ah, oh, god damn it, dude. Okay, but this, this is why it pisses me off, all right? Because it makes a whole lot more sense. Is this the water you were talking about? Or are you talking over this way? I think you're talking over this way, right? Or are you talking this water? Because we definitely can just cart the coal over here. Hmm. Because this is the thing, right? No. All right. It makes more sense to bring the coal to the water and then make these power plants over by the water. That makes way more sense. The river water is what we we're talking about. All right. The river water? Oh, this right here? Is this underground? Because that'd be sick. That'd be pretty sick. I guess, I mean, yeah, we'll, we'll set up a bunch of them right now. Obviously, we can always come back and set up more, which we will. We're gonna we're gonna tap all of this coal. You better believe that. That is the lake you think it is. There's coal there, dude. I'll tell you what, brother. I can check right now. Oh, oh, it's not the lake. Confirmed. Oh, directly into the pipe. Oh, is this the one you're talking about? This guy right here. Ew, that's only a normal purity. My man, we are, we're working with three pure coal nodes and one normal. I'm just saying. You know, you, you don't bring a knife to a gunfight. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying, brother. Okay, but we have plenty to just... Manifold all of this. So that's what we're going to do. Um... We're going to start. Ew, it's kind of gross, though. Truck works well for moving coal. See, that That would make sense. That would make sense. Hmm. All right, let's do something like so. And honestly, if we just split it half and half... Wait, hold on. We don't want to do that. We don't want to put 120 on two things because we don't want to have to deal with all that stupid math of 15 going into things. So many things would make sense. Not how I play it, brother. <laughs> Not how I play it, man. All right. So what we are going to do... Oh, man, because eventually we're just going to need it as a one... Whatever. We're going to run it this way. And then manifold. Ah. Because I want to start the manifold right here. So you know what? Attach the lift directly to the generator. Okay. You know what? I'm with you. Screw it. We are doing a logistics floor. It's happening. We are doing it, man. It's happening. That's what we're going to do. We're going to take a... Something like so. Nah, we'll go... We'll do a big ramp. Big ramp, man. Big ramp to get down there quicker. And we will then... I think this is fine. Right? I don't see anything... Okay, almost walked off. That's fine. Also fine. Everything's fine, man. No worries. And then we're going to attach that lift to the generator. Which, they only take 15, so they all can just be Mark 1, right? No conveyor belt between the generator and lift. You can go up or down. It just works better to upgrade if you overclock them. If you overclock them. Understood. Understood. We're gonna we're gonna come right here. Oh, I know you are in use. That makes sense. What are your different chances? Reversed, default, all right, whatever. We're just gonna go down for now. Honestly, it kind of would make sense to know how far down they're gonna go. Like this. 
Could use the lo the logistic floors for the pipes. Ooh. Just make a big old circle. I guess that makes sense. Okay. Are you telling me, dog? All right. Be real with me. All right. You don't have to lie to me. Are you telling me they legitimately have it charted in that if this 120 from like this point has 20 more feet of head, you can join it in with another thousand cubic meters of water and that 120 will still know that it can still go up 20 meters? Because that's kind of crazy. Because if it's all one big pipe, which obviously it would be tough because you would need a, a bigger pipe. <clears throat> Excuse me, a bigger pipe. But if you're mixing them all and some of them have less force than the other, do they mix and like average it? Again, I think I'm overthinking it now. <laughs> really, it it doesn't matter that much. We're, we're going to figure it out. But let's do something like so. And then we're just going to stick them right out. Oh, do we have... I don't know if we actually got the... Yeah, I don't think we did. Now I know why the whole hanging the thing from the ceiling... Head lift applies to the pipe system. All pipes connected lift to the same height. Right, but then what if... Hmm... Hmm. Interesting. Makes sense that you would made a similar system for my recycled plastic and rubber factory. Dude, it's it's really cool to think of having like a bunch of modular factories and whatnot. But I really want to just do one massive one. I feel like that'd be so much fun, you know? <laughs> Not sure what you were saying. <laughs> the lift is 20 meters from it point of installation. They do not add up. Right. But so hypothetically, right? Here, here, let me let me give you a hypothetical, right? From this pump, right? That water, this 120 water a minute or whatever, can go up another 20 meters. But if you got one like right here that the pumps down here it can go up a it can go up 20 meters from that pump but then what if this water stream and this water stream connect at the same elevation if you pipe that off how high can that then go cuz say this pump is like 15 meters below you know what I mean? 15 meters below this platform. This is, call it 10. Hypothetically, this water could raise another 10 meters, but this water should only raise another 5. It's only the 20 from the highest pump. See, that would make sense. Hmm. Because then you got... But, like, I'm... First, remember the machine only go 10. Understood. No, I'm saying if there's... This is a hypothetical. If there's a pump right here that can go up 20, but it, it raises 15 to get to this level, and this pump raises 10 to get to that level, if you didn't connect them, this water could go another 10, this water could go another 5. But if you connect them at this level, and then you raise it, should it be 10? Should it be 5? Or should it be, like, the average of the two? Or are you saying because they're connected, it'll all go at this pump? Both can go another 10. Hmm. When you merge them, that gives the line with the lower pipe to allow the water to go down, making more head on the low pump. When you merge them, that gives the line with the lower pipe, or the lower pump, I would imagine, 
to allow the water to go down, making more head on the lower pump. Hmm. Well, that's not true. <laughs> that's not true, is it? Because the, the head from the pump isn't based on elevation. The head from the pump is mechanical. So regardless of where the pump is, and regardless of what's connected to it, it should be giving off the same amount of head. Right? All right. I I think really the, the answer was just don't think about it, dummy. <laughs> the head on the pump is mechanical. The head on the pump is right. Which would make me think, whatever, we're gonna, dude, all right, all right, I just got friggin' brain blast, bro. Fern, do you have in the pump more than 20? I see ya, I see ya. How high it can go is restricted by air pressure. If it's open to air, if it's a closed system, that's not true. I'm pretty sure. I don't know, dude. Like. Hydraulics is not my cup of tea, <laughs> so that's why that's why this 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 whole thing is so crazy, man But that is so the brain blast right that is something we absolutely can test and I would love to test that that's the move Gotta go have a great stream. Yo appreciate you stopping by. Thanks for the follow. Thank you. Thank you. Hope to see you around Hope to see you around yeah, that's something we can we can test. You know what I mean? We can we can throw out like engineering principles and actually see how they decided to code it into the game. That's dude, that's interesting. Ooh, we're going to do that. <laughs> Not right now. Right now we're going to hook up power. Cuz that's necessary. But <laughs> when we run out of power stuff to do, we're absolutely going to do that. That'd be fun. All right. Oh, Drew's into it. But if they change it, you have a mess. That's a very good point. <laughs> right after we... Est <laughs> Dude, can you imagine? We as we finally established, like, how it works, right? And we're like, we know for a fact, because we tested it both ways, this will go up seven and a half and then they and then they just change it <laughs> and then you design around it and it doesn't work oh dude i can't wait that's definitely gonna happen am i starting a new save for 1.0 i am i am which so that would be interesting as well if we run these tests and whatnot now <clears throat> and then we can like run them again and see if they did change or Stay consistent during 1.0 launch, you know, all that good stuff. God, that is so funny, though. Can you imagine? We're like, no, 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 we ran the tests, and that's how we build it. And then they just, like, adjust it, because I'm sure they can so easily. <laughs> oh, man. God, I can't wait, dude. Yo, if anyone, if anyone has engineering principles you want us to test out, hit me up. DM, comment, whatever. I, uh, it's been a minute, but I'll, I'll, uh, brush up on my hydrology and we will, we will test it out for sure. I like this idea, this whole gravity fed type thing. Um, all right. Snag. Back to the important stuff. Let's stick this underground. <laughs> Oh man, that's so crazy. The fact that, and that's, that, honestly, that's why I was so drawn to this game. The fact that it's even possible for us to have that sort of, you know, call it experimentation, right? Because honestly, I could see it going either way. You know, I, I could see them putting it in that if they're connected, then they'll go off of the highest pump in the system. But then, like, thinking about the actual engineering of it, I'm pretty sure it should be different. Which, I, again, I could be wrong. It's been a long time. But, wait, can I... Oh! I can connect to it from here? Maybe? That'd be cool. Please? 
Maybe? I want to see someone use a water tower, <laughs> but I don't want to test it because I hate fluids in this game. Right on, man, right on. So pumps in this game don't work exactly like pumps in real life. Well, maybe. That's the thing. I I mean, I don't know. I, I've heard three, two or three different possibilities of they might or they might not. You know? Because there's a lot of stuff so far that I'm I'm really like interested in into because I'm like, oh no, that makes sense. That's how they should have done it. That's cool. You know? Dude, you taught me how to zoop. You taught me how to manifold. Let me do the rest. <laughs> Let me take it from here, man. I don't even know how we're going to get coal here. I'm just putting these guys almost willy-nilly. We might run one in between them. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see how the other ones come down. I think once we hook these guys up. I think that's when... Wait, which they are. They're all hooked up. So now let's try and get this going. I'm letting you run these without reminding you about your floor holes, aren't I? Oh. Shit. That is so funny. That is so funny. Absolutely forgot about floor holes. But you know what, man? You know what? I mean, who needs floor holes, bro? Are you kidding me? I mean, I guess it would have saved us from running up and down. Oh, I guess that makes sense. But look, man, this is working. Kinda. Okay. What I would like to do... Oh, food for thought, just for a thought. It has to be an open system. The coal heats water, makes steam. If the steam can't exit, it will explode or it will stop using water. Oh yeah, no, I agree with that. Like the, the, the idea of how it's actually entering or, or the internal processes. I mean, there's so much to it. You know what I mean? Like, uh, It'll work. That's why I wasn't bugging you. Appreciate it. Um, like the internal processes of mechanical operations are actually so crazy, man. Like it's actually so wild. Or like, you know, we're going to have like voltage drop. I don't know if they have that in the game or not, but found a YouTube tutorial on a water tower. Can I share here? I don't care <laughs> if you want to, by all means. Um, I guess Unless something's automatically blocked. I guess we'll find out, huh? You can give it a shot. <laughs> Ooh, I got voltage drop. Yeah. Depending on the distance that, say, an energized line. Oh, no, dude, absolutely. Not trying to disagree, just discussing possible things. Bro, disagree or discuss. I'm, I'm here for it, man. That's what I really want in this channel is a yeah sorry about that link by the way i'll try and figure out how to unblock them for future reference but what i really want in this channel regardless of what it is what the game is anything like that is really it's not a place where you know it's my way or the highway by any means you know what i mean i'm the kind of guy who i love discussing you know big issues small issues really just things you know i love that idea of how it works or how it should work or you know all kinds of stuff man i appreciate you talking about it this game is pretty realistic yeah oh so yeah uh voltage drop depending on the distance and the amount of volts that are actually on a wire like concrete exactly you mean cement but uh <laughs> If you if you travel enough distance, it actually loses like like power. I mean, it's a it's a weird why it loses it is kind of weird and it's a little lost on me. But it's it's something having to do with the power literally burning off. This game doesn't have a voltage drop with distance, which I I kind of assumed because what? All right, this is this is gonna be great. This is what we're gonna end the episode with. We'll we'll hook it up in the next one, man. All right, voltage drop, man. So what's a cool concept, though? What it what really is? 
Concrete, cement. Here's one. When does it become jello? Uh. Flow fill? That's my answer. Flow fill? All right, but voltage drop. So, like, transformers. What they'll do is they will, like, they'll take all this power and then it'll go into a transformer. Dude, what the? Get, get out of here. It'll go into a transformer and either, I believe it'll increase the wattage or like the, uh, it'll either increase the wattage or the actual, let's see, there's, there's resistance, there's wattage, and then there's, uh, because uh, joules per second, I think, is watts. I don't know, dude, I'm so out of depth right now, but, so they'll take it and they'll essentially amplify it. Voltage. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's either the amperage or the voltage. I think they, because the thing is, the volts are what you generate. But then, I believe they then, like, increase either the amperage or it's something that they can, like, mechanically transform in it. And then they'll put it up into a tower like this and shoot it far distances so it has less voltage drop. You know what I mean? So they'll take, like, a thousand volts at a certain amperage. I think that sounds right. Amps make power run further. Exactly. Well, God, I can't remember now. But yeah, it's it's something where they take it and they manipulate it a little bit so that when it comes down the other side and goes to another transformer, they like lower the amperage and then they have less voltage drop because it gets there quicker? Something like that. Anyway, that's why they're so dangerous because high amps... Yeah, no, that makes sense now. High amps and low voltage can kill someone really easily, whereas high voltage, low amperage obviously is still dangerous, but it's not, like, as will kill you for sure. You know what I mean? Obviously, if it's high enough voltage, I mean, it's... You're going to get electrocu uh, electrocuted, right? But... Um, it's, it's just an interesting concept, man. And so the fact that we didn't have any sort of, any sort of like, not building, but any sort of actual machine that we put the power in before we threw it up on that big old pole. It's not the volts that kill you, it's the amps. Right, 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 right. Volts will make you like sing though, I'll tell you that right now. But the fact that we didn't have to run this into something and then into that meant to me they either incorporated something like that or there wasn't really a voltage drop idea, which I'm cool with. I was actually thinking about that when I first unlocked those. I'm like, that would suck if we got to worry about voltage drop. I thought amps made guitars louder. You're damn right, buddy. You're damn right. What you're talking about is the reason Winston House lost to Tesla about using AC instead of DC in houses. Right. Absolutely true. Which that's a crazy thought too, man. You can't just you can't just go in there, huh? Can't do it? Alright, that's fair. That's crazy. Yeah, dude. Engineering, man. It's it's some wild stuff. It really is. Okay, so, ready? This is what I'm gonna do. First and foremost. Gonna stop the episode here, man. Gonna end it on YouTube. I appreciate everybody's patience and listening to voltage drop and head loss and all that good stuff. It's fun stuff. Let me know if you want to hear more. Let me know if you want me to never say it again, etc. You know? But yeah, anyway, if you like the video, please like. It helps out a ton. Subscribe if you want to see more in the future. We got daily uploads. We're gonna keep streaming, but we're gonna stop the YouTube video. We stream on Sundays at noon Eastern and Tuesday, Thursday, 6 o'clock. Eastern. And yeah, that's it, man. That's me. I'm calm. See you in the next one. See ya!